So now on to the arms here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is actually a really interesting build. Okay, where's, okay. Just like that. You want to angle it so that the polycap is facing away from the outside, of course. That's good for now. And just align that in there in the upward position. And close it off. Just like so. I'll move up and down on its own. Like that. Putting that to the side for now. We're going to take this part. No, I'm sorry. This part. I'm going to put this here along with this. Just like so. Close it up. Then take this part with this poly cap. Sorry, put it in there like so, and try to line it up in the back. There's special grooves in the inside here. You want to line up correctly. Yeah, give me a second. I'm sorry, I had it backwards. It's pretty much you want to have it like that, and then plug it in on this side. And it's going to be a lot of resistance. There we go. Like so. And just plug it in there for now. Then we take, let's see how we do this here. The arm, I'm going to plug it in like so. Have this poly cap with the groove facing towards like so. Then cover it up. That's what you get. And then cover it up like that. And then for hand, I've already added the cover to it. Just like that. Now for the wing here, that's not the one I was looking for. But you'll see what how this turns turns out. Uh, I forgot to do, grab one more poly cap. But what you want to do is have the flat part facing towards you. Not like that, but going like so. Take this part where you want the thin part on top, line it up, and with some nice iron grip into there like so. We'll attach to the back of the arm here. And then for the wing, have it like so. Make sure the little blade part is the blade part here is this angle and just line up like so close it in then close it up then 
10. Slide it. Like that. And there you have it. The arms are complete. On to the final part. And here's what makes up the last parts of this kit. Uh, I'm going to have to split this apart first. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I forgot to split that before the video, but oh well. Live and learn. Alright, I've already assembled this piece, which is pretty much the joint system. Alright, so what we're going to do is it tells you to build this first and then slide it through here. And then, take this poly cap and plug it in there and one thing it tells you to during the part is tell you to push these in and then pop it up after this is joined but I like to do it this way so you, at least I know it's nice and secured and click there we go Now once those are together, you just combine them, like so, and then take this nice front piece and just click it on. I'm going to do the feet here really quick, uh, the whole pain in the butt, just to let you know. Uh, here we go. You got to find the right niche for it. There we go. I tried doing it on the other foot and it just gave me nothing but problems. On here you just slip it in and slide it. And then with this poly cap you just slide it in place and then take these. Slide it in place and there's your foot. Combine it into here like so. Now we're going to build the rest of the leg. Have this part up top like so. And connect them here. So you get something like this. There we go. And then you want to take not this part this part I'm going to have it where it's in this orientation and it'll slide into place into these grooves like that then you close it off make sure to line everything up and here we go Connect it to the leg like so, and then attach this front part. Make sure everything lines up as that. And then you just plug that into place. And there you have the legs. I'm actually going to switch the teeth around like so. So they look more like this. So the angles are a little bit more uniform. But that's how the legs look. Let's go to the final build. And now we get to our final build here. Uh, lift this up a little bit. So I can slide this into the hand. 
and close it off as so and I've already added the poly cap here I forgot to add that last time you just add the arms leave it right here for now then you take the shield here here's the beam saver I forgot to add I flip it over so I can just show off the little part here and it goes like that and it will connect into this arm as so and then you take this whole waist unit sure this is out of the way and pop it into place and so you take the head pop it on and take the legs Slime into place. And there we have the Clanch Custom. Just bring this down so you guys can see how it looks. Okay, use the feet. How it came out. I have to say, I'm actually really happy how it came out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he looks pretty badass. I was a little skeptical at first, but now I'm really digging this, actually. He, this is a pretty badass thing. Good arms in there. And here's how he is before being flat coated. And I'm going to make this little announcement before I flat coat him. He is not going to be uh, transforming. He will be in a fixed pose for the competition. So here he is before being coated. And here it is finally uh, dry coated. I added decals all over the piece, like down here on the shield, right there in the middle of the chest, and on top of the gun here. I used those decals I was talking about. The ones from this sheet from the Adele. Definitely not using those. And I'm not using these at all. And I kind of goof, but it actually worked in a way. Uh, I dry coated the, or dull coated the visor, but I actually like how that looks. So I'm actually kind of happy I did it. <laughs> Yeah, this is this turns out to be a really nice kit. Uh, this is pretty much how I'm going to display it at MosquitoCon, and it's pretty much taken right from the manual. But I like how it looks, and it fits pretty well. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this series. Um, I probably won't have a video up for the next two weeks because. I don't have any gun plot to build, <laughs> so, uh, or I might get gun plot this weekend, I don't know, but, yeah, this is pretty much one of my entries, I will go back on this and actually do some panel lining and whatnot, but, for the most part, I really like how this came out, it's pretty much me, in a way, <laughs> but, I like it, and, I hope you guys enjoyed again.
This has been Jim, and take care.